This video is split into five sections. First, what is exam technique? Why is exam technique so important? How do I master exam technique for A-level maths? Where do I find resources to help me master um, this exam technique? And who am I? Who am I to like give you this kind of advice? Hi, if you're new to this channel, hi, welcome. My name is Aldrich. I'm a final year engineering student at the University of Sheffield and during my A-levels, I raised my AU in maths to an A and I feel like since I rode this road, I feel like I can give you some advice that your typical clever person won't be able to give you since that typical clever person would always be getting B's, A's and stuff but they've not had that hard road from a U and I feel like I can give you that kind of perspective. I've already made a video describing how I got an A in maths from a U which you can check out if you're interested but Ever since that video, I've been getting messages on Instagram and the recurring theme is exam technique. What did I do in the exam to increase my chances of getting that A? Exam technique is how do I make the most efficient use of my time, knowledge and effort when I sit that exam or when I do that assessment. I'm going to use an analogy from Simon Clark because when I was doing my A-levels, this analogy really helped me understand the importance of exam technique. Imagine you have a spear, right? And imagine the examiners have a shield. The spear represents your hard work and your effort to break through the examiner's shield. And the reward of you breaking that shield is getting the grade you want for university. So for me, it was an A. For you, it could be an A star. It depends on your grade offer. The spear is made out of two parts. The first part is the haft, the thing you hold. The haft represents you understanding the content, so you understand how to do different methods. You know the rules, the methods, you know what functions are, you know what differentiation is, you know what calculus is, you know the basics and you know the advanced techniques and the tools you need to answer exam style questions. The second part of the spear is the blade. This represents your exam technique. Now, if you have a rusty blade, no matter how much force you stab that shield, you're not going to pierce through it. Now, ask yourself, what happens if that blade is sharp? Right? Right? Exactly! You'll, you'll be able to pierce through that shield and you'll be able to get the grade you want. But you need to refine that blade, you need to refine your exam technique and in the next section I'm going to tell you exactly how to do so. Based on my experience anyway. Firstly, read the question and highlight the keywords. That in itself will give you a hint and a structure to how you should be laying out your answer. For example, if the question is asking you to solve, highlight the word solve. It could be prove. So what does prove mean? All right, prove means, all right, let me write down all the identities that I know in one side. Or oh, could I rearrange these identities to make um, this proof easier or maybe a rearranged version of those identities is what I use to answer the question. My second tip is to draw diagrams. I remember in my mechanics exam it was proper solid the way it was worded but then when I actually drew out the diagram it was a piece of cake. Personally I took the time in my exam to draw very neat diagrams to make sure I knew well particularly for mechanics I knew moments occurred at this area be careful with your notation make sure you use brackets all right make sure the brackets are in the right place make sure your indices look like indices make sure your Z's don't look like twos. I can not stress the amount of times where I accidentally times something by three, for example, rather than raise it to the power of three because I misplaced the brackets, like I put brackets in the wrong places, making me think I need to times this um, constant rather than raise it to the power. What I remember in one of my exams, I carried this mistake like forward and if it wasn't for me double checking at the end which is one tip which I want to get into I would have not I would have I would have flopped that paper next one is easier said than done but avoid silly mistakes check your answer criticize your answer ask yourself if this final answer is sensible so in the context of the question next is make good use of your time a make sure you answer the easier questions first get them sorted and I highly recommend leaving at least 15 to 10 minutes to double check your work at the end of the exam you know when you're in that flow maybe you might have overlooked something Thing. maybe you might have carried an error somewhere but just make sure that 
you're able to double check your work even if it's for like the last two minutes of the exam double check it flick through because you'll never know and the next one is don't use rounded values when you're working out just make sure you don't round at like the early stage of your working out because that really affects your final solution my next tip is to bring a bottle of water with you in the exam you never know like i don't know about me but when i was sitting in the exam and i was stuck in a particular part what i like to do is i, I, I stepped back took a deep breath got a uh, Gotta drink some water and take a deep breath again. And then I looked at the question again. And then I was able to answer the question. It was weird, but you know what? I feel like that's worth mentioning. Bring the right stationery. Make sure you have a pen, a ruler, etc., etc. Make sure that the past papers that you do to the run up to the exams or your assessments are in exam conditions. Like, really put yourself in the position where you're and pretend that this past paper is your real exam be in that position be in that state of stress that pressure because you need to be familiar with it that's something i wish i did when i was practicing for my a levels the best resource to practice exam technique is to do exam papers where do I find these exam papers? Well, when I did my A-levels, I used a uh, website called Physics and Maths Tutor. I also used a website called Exam Solutions, which helped me understand questions which I was iffy on, as well as understand the thought process of a question and the methods involved and why we use those methods for a question I struggled with. The master has failed more times than the beginner has tried. When I was doing my A levels, when I was up, when I was getting my U's and stuff, I kept saying that oh I couldn't do it. I kept having this negative mindset compared to the people who were getting B's and A's and were in the same class. And I was like, why? Why am I not getting things? It's because behind the scenes they are doing the work. That is most important. They are doing the work behind the scenes. So behind, for you, behind the scenes is work on your exam technique, but also do not forget the content. Make sure that heart is grippable, that there is, it's, an, it's tough enough for you to hold and feel comfortable for you to apply as much force as possible. And make sure you refine that blade, the exam technique. And on that note, safe. <laughs> oh, hey, if you're new to this channel, oh, I hope you, ah. Aye, 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 if your exam technique is being aware of what the expect, exam technique is the self aware, exam technique is the awareness of what the ex exam technique, really?